What's up everyone, Dave Moss Jr. here, and today I'm gonna to give you part two of my DIY cold plunge. So I just got back from an epic week-long vacation. Right now I'm out here grounding, getting regrounded back at my home. So let the chickens out. We have free-range chickens. That's a whole nother video. It's in my YouTube too, so check that out if you're interested. But this video is part two. I had a lot of people reach out to me at a really good engagement on that post on my DIY cold plunge. And today I wanna to show you, so I was gone for a week. I prefer not to just let this constantly run while I was gone. Also, it's a good opportunity for me to clean out the water. I've only cleaned the water out on this thing twice. And I know that may seem a little bit gross. I've had it for just under a month, maybe around a month now. And I wanna get back into my cold plunge as soon as I possibly can, as soon as I get home. However, I have to set it up. So this video is basically on how to reset it up if you are gonna do what I did, which is what I drained it. And I'll show you how to drain it, super simple. Um, how to refill it, super simple. How to get it set up. And also, I'm gonna tell you how long, cause I've had a lot of people ask me, I didn't really time it, how long this chiller takes to get my water down to that 45, 50 degrees for my first cold plunge back. So that's what this video is, check it out. So before I left for vacation, I drained the water out of the tub and I cleaned it. And I found a really easy way to drain the water out of this tub instead of siphoning and getting another gadget. If you did it the way I did it, then you found a really easy way to drain it just like me. Check so this out. is the pump that pumps the water out of the tub through a little filter and into the chiller. Well, all you gotta do is detach it from the chiller and put it out the window like I did and it drained that tub in like 20 minutes to drain the entire thing. This is a good pump. So that was kind of a neat way of getting all the water out of the tub, making it easy to move and clean. I also have had a lot of people reach out to me about the filter that I got that keeps the water nice and clear. And that's this one. I'll put the link in the description below, but this is a UV light filter. It also creates a little bit of oxygen in the water, which is nice. I don't know if the bubbles really do anything, but because I'm not a fish, but uh, it's kept my water super clear. And this is all I've been using and it's worked great. I'm gonna go ahead and get some water running. Pull the hose over there. Make sure to definitely run the hose. Get all that hot water out of there because it's just gonna make your chiller fight it. So eventually once you get down into the uh, well or wherever your water comes from, it'll get nice and cool. Should be around, you know, 80 degrees. There we go, starting to get cold. But you definitely don't wanna put hot water in your cold plunge. It's kind of like the reverse psychology of cold water, right? So I have mine next to a window, so it's super easy to get to my hose. If you don't, then you definitely need a hose or a way of getting water where you want. And now to fill it up, I also throw a little bit of food grade hydrogen peroxide in there. Not a ton, but just a little bit. So now I put the pump in there. This is the return hose, just to confirm. And then I'm gonna connect this back to the inlet of my chiller. Screw it in nice and tight. And while that's filling up, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my infrared sauna. It's super beneficial to go from hot and sweaty to cold. That just hyper change, it's really good for your immune system, inflammation, circulation, look it up, it's good stuff. Once that water gets just above this pump, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and I'm gonna start the timer to see how long it takes to get cold. All right, so we're good. I just plugged everything in to make sure that my seals are all nice and snug. So everything's flowing good. Time to turn it on and start the timer. So right now it's 83 degrees. I'm gonna set boost on. I'm gonna set it for 49 degrees. It's a good temperature. It lets me, my wife, and my kids get in, still get all the amazing benefits. Obviously the colder, the better, and the faster. But I would rather my wife and kids be able to jump in this thing and experience the benefits as well. So we're gonna start the timer right now. So everything's running, filters are on. I've got my UV filter ready to go. Obviously gotta wait till the water is up so that it can pull it in and run it, but filling it up pretty quick. And uh, chiller's, chiller's running too. All right, so everything is on, water's still pumping, nice. Fresh water from the hose, and it's been about 12 minutes, and we have moved very little. So, we're also still pumping in 80 degree plus water from the hose, so it's fighting itself. Should get rolling here soon. Wasted no time though. Well, that's filling up, and that's chilling, and that's heating up. I'm gonna shake. I'm gonna shake, please. <laughs> Three, 
Water's full of 82 degree water and we are at 77. So 30 minutes while it's filling up with 82 degree water, we're down five degrees. So hopefully now we'll start to chill quicker. In the meantime, do fun things. Like check on your chickens, ground your bare feet, get some sun on your skin, put your hose away, you know, go feed the fish, do some homework, do something good. Just have some fun, cause you got time. Catch anything, girl? Hey, and while we're at it, another little post-vacation detox is take a little bit, a teaspoon or two of apple cider vinegar, and then take some diatomaceous earth food grade. You can also take one to two teaspoons, take a little shot of water with it on an empty stomach, and that really helps to bind to the heavy metals inside your body that you might have put in your body on vacation, and also helps to just detox your gut scrape away any of that nastiness and just make you feel better. So it's another little hack. <laughs> just waiting and sweating and waiting and sweating and waiting and sweating. All right, out of the sauna, been sweating like crazy, getting licked by my dog. I wanna give you a little recap on this video. So it's been about an hour and 30 minutes. It's at 72 degrees and once it gets colder, it gets colder faster. So. Once it gets into that 60 degrees, it should start to kick into hyperdrive and get really, really cold. So a couple recaps here. When you're draining your tub, just take un undo, your, undo one of your hoses, the one that's connected to your pump inside the water, and shoot that baby out the window. It'll drain really, really fast. You don't have to siphon it or get crazy, and you'll get the water out of your tub to where you can move it where you need to. That's uh, one really good tip that I just kind of figured out. Tip number two, keeping your water clear. See, this is the water from my hose and that water is gonna get really, really clear really fast because I use hydrogen peroxide. I don't like to put chemicals in my water. A lot of people can, you don't need to. Hydrogen peroxide is what they use in a lot of Olympic swimming pools uh, with, the, with the combination of UV light. And that's what that little filter down there, right there is doing, it's a UV light. So the UV light kills bacteria on contact as does the hydrogen peroxide. You don't have to use a ton, just use a small amount, add a little bit more as you need to. It won't irritate your skin and it's really good. It keeps the water clear, it kills bacteria as well, it kills any of that nasty algae growth that you shouldn't get in this small little tub, but that's what hydrogen peroxide does as opposed to using other chemicals. Also that coupled with the UV light, you're good to go. And this particular UV light, which I'm gonna put the description, the uh, link to that one in the description, uh, create some bubbles as well and the bubbles and the oxygen in the water mixed with the hydrogen peroxide really helps to keep that water extra clear and extra clean all right you want to make sure you have your your tub close to a window so you can get the water out also close to a hose where you can get the water in that's the easiest way to do it and yeah that's a little bit of a of a catch up here so we're still sitting here waiting to see how long it takes to get down to a cold plungeable temperature and uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna go hang out with my kids. So catch you back in a second. All right, it's been just over two hours and we're at 69 degrees. And silly me, there's a boost feature here that I did not activate, I just did. So hopefully that'll speed us up even more. All right, so it's been just at four hours and we're getting closer. Four hours and we're getting closer. You wanna get in there, babe? No. It's only 59, it's hot. Well, currently my chiller is at 57 degrees. We're just outside of four hours and it's definitely taking longer than I thought. I guess I thought it would immediately freeze, but you know, things take time. So we are about to get ready and go to church. So it's 57. I turned the chiller down even further. I've had it set at 49 degrees all day. So I turned it down to 40, because I'm gonna try to get real cold. But I'm in sauna again. I'm about to jump into 57, 56 degree cold plunge for five minutes before I go to church. And I should be gone for about an hour. And then when I get back, it should be where I want it. And that should answer the question of how long does it take for this setup to go from 82 degrees to 45, 50 degrees. And right now it's looking like maybe five to six hours, but we'll see. All right, so we got out of the sauna. We're at 56, keeps bouncing between 56, 57 degrees. And I'm about to jump in there real quick. Um, like I mentioned in my first video about a month ago, 
I like to raise money for the ALS Association, and I did the CEO soak last year. I was the top fundraiser for the Florida chapter, and currently I'm the top fundraiser for the Florida chapter again here in Florida for the ALS Association. And I'm going to post that link in the description if you or someone you know would like to donate to the ALS Association. I'd love uh, I'd love for you to do that. Now I'm gonna get in this cold plunge. All right, here we go. Fresh clean water. Honestly, like, when you're so used to it, you can come closer. My beautiful 10-year-old daughter Ava is filming me. Because it's hard to do this by yourself. But when you're used to sub 50 degree water and you do it every day, getting into it at 57 degrees feels like getting into a nice warm bathtub. You want to get in it? No! <laughs> Alright, well, I'm going to spend about five minutes in here right now and then go to church. I'm gonna get back, it should be under 50 degrees. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do that kind of guy. All right, well, it's been just over seven hours since I've turned this on, which is a lot longer than I thought it would take. But then again, the last time I plugged this thing in, I went to work, went to the gym, I had like a full day planned. And when I got home, it was cold. So I guess that kind of makes sense. So it's been seven hours and like 20 minutes. Started out at 82 degrees, currently it's at 52 degrees. I did one little five minute plunge before we went to church. I'm back now. It dropped five degrees while we were gone. And uh, I don't really know if I should plunge this close to, to bedtime. But what do you think? Should I plunge? Yes. Taylor got a cat or a kitty. So, is there a little Charlie? Well, Charlie. So, Charlie doesn't like cold plunging, but I do. So. I'll wait till it gets a little cooler and I want to get that final clock at 50 degrees from 82 to 50 degrees so that you know how long it takes to go from 82 degrees to 50 degrees with this DIY setup. We have done it! Just over 8 hours and 30 minutes and we went from 82 degrees to 50 degrees with this chiller. This DIY cold plunge setup on a fresh tub of clean water. And I'm about to jump in there. It's a little bit late, we just had a storm roll in. But we're gonna jump in there anyway because we've been waiting for this all day. And it's gonna be worth it. All right, it's time to enjoy the fruits of this labor. 50 degrees. So one thing I've always been curious is what your heart rate does when the cold plunge. And I wear the whoop band, and it's pretty interesting. So I actually started the activity. I'm wearing my whoop band now. So I'm gonna do a five minute cold plunge right now, and I'll share a screenshot of, the, uh, of my heart rate and what it does while in the cold plunge on this video. And uh, I hope it's been helpful for you. I hope this encourages you to check out some biohacking tips and get in check with your body. Maybe build your own cold plunge. Keep it maintained nice and well. But in the meantime, hope you have a great day. And God bless. All right, so I just got out of a nice little five-minute post-vacation plunge took a little bit longer so we found out it takes about eight hours and 30 minutes with my setup to go from an 82 degree fresh fresh water tub to uh, 50 degrees and I'm, I got it cranking down a little bit lower I just wanted to see what it would take to go from 82 to 50 because that's pretty much the threshold of uh, what me and my family like to get into when we're cold plunging but for now since the sun's going down I'm gonna ground my feet a little bit more Kind of get my circadian rhythm right by watching the sunset. It's amazing the things you can learn about your body. Um, I would definitely encourage you to look up biohacking and maybe maybe try some things because uh, it'll help you sleep, it'll help you recover, it'll help with energy, and for me, it helps with mental clarity and focus. So we can fight 
all the things that this world tells us we can't. You don't need a drug. I think you don't need a drug. I'm sure there's some things you need drugs for, but I don't think you need a drug. I think you can figure out your body's built to do so much more than we give it credit for. So if you like what you're watching, subscribe. If not, no, no biggie, no big deal at all. This isn't what I do. I just uh, do this kind of for me, for the few of you that like to watch this stuff. So I hope you all have a great day, great night, great life. God bless.